everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of why he, go, why he yawns here. <laughs> Five questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys, we're back with this edition of Five Questions with Devil. Don't try to yawn. Fucking tired. <laughs> he's tired. Oh, he's always tired. He's the majority of the day. <laughs> tired word by a lot of things. You know yeah. my name. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. But guys, hope that you guys have been enjoying uh, the videos we've been putting out, guys. We've been putting out videos like crazy. Uh, we did take a little break there for a little yeah. bit, but uh, we're back on the roll, right? That's we're right. back! So we're going to let this keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, uh, we're going to be answering your guys' questions. You guys send in, send in questions like crazy, trying to keep up, trying to write them down, trying to get yeah. uh, things organized. And uh, we're going to go ahead and answer your guys' questions right now. And guys, if you want to ask a question, the easiest way to do that and get your question on the next five questions is to do it in the comments section yes. down below. you got to do it in the comments. Yeah, because it be uh, a lot easier. be way easier for us to track your question yeah. down than writing it on any Because let me tell you, if you send me a question on Instagram, I ain't answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets kind of hectic on other websites, so the easiest way to do it is in the comment section down below. And guys, you guys ready for the first question? Yeah, I'm ready. The first two questions are asked by the same person, Gregory Shulette. Oh, Gregory. Hi, uh, Gregory. Um, g uh, uh, good friend of ours, uh, yep, great yeah. guy. Uh, Tom, she talked with him quite a bit. Uh, I talked with him quite a bit. He, he is, he is, a, he is a wonderful guy. Let's go yeah, ahead. he's a good old buddy. He's a good old buddy? Yeah. Old buddy, huh? Yeah, old buddy. Old buddy Gregory Shulet. Uh Greg's first question here is, thoughts on the Piggy James segment? You guys remember, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure exactly what year this was. I would assume it's like 2010. 2010. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, 2010. Um, it was Lay Cool of Michelle McCool and Layla with... Yeah. Make fun of uh, Mickey James and uh, call her Piggy James. Yeah, saying that she was gaining weight and and uh, all sorts of those things. I'm sorry, but I've all, I've always thought Mickey James. Was yeah, sexy I didn't give a fuck if she put on any. Uh, I don't she care. You know, hot. she was. I, 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 I like thick women, so I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought she was hot. A little, a little, uh, uh, a little more pounded than she did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought way. she was still hot. <laughs> A little, uh, like uh, 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 a little, uh, a little, yeah. little more talent. I'm sorry, hurt. man. I'm sorry. Me, and Michelle McCool ain't hot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think Layla care. is, but Michelle ain't. I agree. I actually do agree. Yeah. So, so take her. You can have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah take her. Book her red. <laughs> Big bad book her red. You can take it. Well, he's already took it. Oh, it's yeah, all yours. Yeah. <laughs> he's, it's he's all yours. He's already took it several times. <laughs> um. They make fun of her. Uh, it even came to the point where I think it was Layla came out uh, dressed as a pig. Yeah. Um, what'd you think about this? I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I really didn't give a shit. I didn't care, but let's just be honest. Mickey James has been all. She's always been fine. Yeah. She's, so she's so I didn't is. give a fuck with them making fun of her. They were just jealous. Yeah. Because she... Michelle Taker didn't have nothing. Yeah. She had no boobies. She yeah. had no ass. No. She had nothing. No, she had nothing. Now, Layla, she had something. Yeah. yeah. But Michelle McCool didn't have shit. Not even talent. <laughs> Not even talent! I, I mean, I, I, I'm just stating the truth. I'm sorry. I thought I, I thought she had enough talent to get by, but as far as... Slim and none, if you ask me. The way they pushed her, no. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Well, like, you know she, why she got pushed? She don't got. You? Oh, actually, this was way before Undertaker. Uh, well, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he had something a little bit to do with it. So, you never know how far this person went back, though. But really. here's the goddamn thing: Michelle McCool was never talented, in my opinion. Didn't care for her no. at all. No, at all. Well, actually, you, you you remember how she got her start in WWE? Yeah. The Raw Diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Raw Diva search. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't really like anybody out of that Raw Diva search. Uh, well. Well, what did the Raw Diva search ever prove? Nothing. Nothing really. They they they, no, they, they didn't. even let they even let the people that lost even even in the WWE. Yeah, Look so at Maria. she lost and she got in. So so what does that? Well, what did the fuck did the Diva search prove then? It was just it, 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 it was just something to get motherfuckers to watch. Well, Candice Michelle, she back. lost in the goddamn Diva search, but they gave her a job. So, Joy. Yeah. Joy Giovanni. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that just uh, she won. She won that Diva search. What, Joy did? Yeah. I 
Yeah. I thought she lost. Nah, she won that deep. So. Well, anyway. Fuck, uh, fuck her whiskey. No, no. I think we no, Amy no. Weber. Oh, whatever yeah, fucking yeah, name yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the same. No, what the fuck is the difference? I thought that diva search was ridiculous. It was. Uh, but uh, you didn't give a shit. No, not really. Pops. Hey, I never cared, cared too much about the like, diva search or nothing like that right there because it, but they didn't prove anything to anybody, especially to me. I, 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 I thought, hell, you, you, you brought in no talent, but no, no talent pieces of pussy for, for the. For the male wrestlers to fuck, hell, that ain't nothing. What say about the Pete Jenkins second? I, uh, kind of funny, but uh, yeah, to me, I, I really didn't get no sense out of it because uh, Mickey James was always pretty, and and she is still yet a fucking milf. Milfy James, yeah. she's still hot. Uh, yeah, it, it 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 was just stupid. It yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was just stupid. I think I, I think what it was is just it's just something to, co to cover a little bit of spot that they they was missing. Well, we, what, well, we missed with this. Yeah, well, we got a little bit of tape here. Well, we'll send this out. <laughs> uh, Gregory Shulet's next question is, thoughts on Vince McMahon almost getting the Von Erichs back in 1984? There has been this rumor that uh, potentially uh, he could have got, uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was Carrie, Kevin, and uh, possibly David um, to go to the WWF. Um, how big do you think, uh, the Von Erichs could have been for Vince? Now, we should mention that, of course, this did not happen. Yeah. Um, we do know that, uh, you know, uh, David does die. And, yeah. um, we do know that eventually, I think it was 1989. No, 90. 90, was it 90? 90! Uh, Carrie does go to the WWF yep. as the Texas Tornado. So this was six years prior, and 1984 was the big expansion for the WWF, yep. going to uh, national, yeah. which led to the first WrestleMania in 1985. What'd you guys think? Uh, but we do know that Vince was taking performers out, out of the wazoo. This is another thing. Vince was taking all the performers out of each territory. Portland. He was taking people uh, out of Portland, South. he was taking people out of the NWA, he was taking people out of fucking anywhere. Mid-South? Mid-South, CWA, it didn't matter where the fuck they came from, he was going to take an AWA, he took mm -hmm. a lot from there. Oh yeah, they did. He took a lot. Old Vern Gagne <laughs> didn't like that. <laughs> Vern Gagne! Yeah. Get it? Gagne! You know Gagne! It. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check out that video later. Oh, not this guy again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with the, um, yeah, um, like, almost Took everything <laughs> away from fucking Burn Gagne there. Yeah, Gagne, yeah. Took everything from Burn. Uh, but, but, but of course we do know that the Von Erics, uh, you know, including Fritz. Yeah. Uh, big stars in Dallas. Yeah, yes. exactly. And uh, see, here's the thing. In, in the Texas Territory. This is in 1984. Mm -hmm. Ain't this around the, no, this ain't around the time Hogan. Hogan just came in from, uh, uh, in, into the WWF and, and beat Iron Sheik. Oh, this so, was in, uh, yeah. in Hogan era? Yes. In 84? Yes, in 84. Oh. Well, then Von Erichs wouldn't fit. You don't think so? No, because they, they, what would they have done? They couldn't be main eventers. That's Hogan's spot. Be, well, uh, exactly. Uh, where in They wouldn't have been main eventers. In Dallas, they, they were they, the they main eventers. They were event. the main eventers. Yeah, they were the main eventers. That's like and see, here's the thing. If they would have went to WWF in 1984, they wouldn't have been no main eventers. I mean, if you guys remember, uh, you guys remember this, the Freebirds actually came into the WWF. Yeah. yeah. Was that 83? Yeah. They came in very short stint at the yeah. WWF. Yeah. They very did not short. last that long. Imagine the Von Erichs going to the WWF. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it would have been, been catastrophic for them. It, 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 see, it never would have worked. Never they would have been main eventers. No, they, they 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 would have been as sad as it could be. I think they'd be able to turn them into jobbers. Jobbers, you think so? I, th I think they probably would have, not jobbers. I they'd think they put would, them in the tag team. That's what I was thinking. Tag team take one in the single, put him in the Intercontinental Title picture. Well, let's just be honest. We already know how Vince would, would have been. He yeah. went. To, he would have taken Kerry. Yeah. Because Kerry, you know, had the body. Yeah, and, he'd uh, put Kerry in the Intercontinental yeah. Title picture, yeah. and he'd put David and fucking Kevin in the uh, in the tag team but, picture. But 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 Vincent Mann, here, here's something about him though, though too that you know he to me I mean I mean the Von Erichs 
the one the one to me that, that held the most time that had that held the most most thing thing to be to be a Von Eric and, and to be a, be a wrestler was David. I, I, the, the rest of it was just there, in my opinion. The, don't, get me, don't get me wrong, you know, the, Terry had, had the talent, he had the body, but but I just don't think he was that good of a wrestler. I, I think, you don't think so? I, I don't think, I, I think David carried the whole goddamn people well, on see, the back. Well, see, David was the superior worker. To me, Kevin, he had the same ability as David, but he he always messed up himself. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, Kerry was... Uh, he would always make mistakes. A, a, a Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. And, and he did win the uh, the NWA World Championship, a yep. very short stint, though. But... But, like... Like... The product of his own demons, we yeah. should say. Yeah, because Kerry would always... Unreliable. Not, unreliable. Especially if you're the NWA World Champion. Why do you think time? Flair always held the belt? He was a reliable person to hold the NWA no, World Championship. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't know. fucking not show up and you're the NWA World Champion. You're th you are booked to be there. You're the World you're Champion. Going. You're in the main event. If you're, you, you gotta be there. You know, if you're, you know, you're you gotta booked make somewhere booking. being the NWA Champion. Back then, you know, in, in Toradora days, the NWA Champion had to travel all over the world. It ain't like it is now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had to travel all over the world, Japan, and, 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 and every Rico? place. Yeah, every place you you that you was a champion, you had to be there. Now, you know, we're not saying that. Uh, you know, we're not. Well, I mean, to an extent, you know, Fritz had uh, Dallas on lock with his sons and stuff. And you know, if they didn't feel like being there or whatever, you know, uh, Fritz would, you know, okay it. But you know, if you're booked to be there, yeah. You know, you need to show up. That's true. Yeah. Well, and then, and see, that's the thing. What, the Von Erics wouldn't have done much of anything in the WWF at that time. Besides, probably Carey going the Intercontinental title picture in 84, and David and Kevin being in the tag team period. I do agree with that. I, I actually agree with Tommy on that. Because they ain't getting no man. And let's just be honest. Uh, yeah, exactly. And let's just be honest. When you, and still today, if you're in the tag team division, if you're in the mid card division, you don't get over that well. No, and that's where I honest. think they would put them. Yeah, I agree. Because they weren't going to be no main eventers. That's Hogan's spot. Mm -hmm. But then, but, but then still, yet you, you you got to go this right here. Would the Von Erichs really leave their dad? Exactly. Because so that's nothing. Them. They were already they established. Were stars there. there. They were already established. Everybody knew who they were. Mm -hmm. Why would you want? Why would you want to? Uh, why would you want to leave and go somewhere else where? Maybe and deep in their mind, they probably thought this too. We ain't gonna be that great there. Mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna flounder right there. So, yeah, my my my, my opinion, would be, you know, thinking of the Von Erichs would be, in my opinion, I would be thinking that too. Well, I'm, I'm a big star here. I don't need to go nowhere else. Mm -hmm. This is where my fame is. I'm staying right here. Yes, I mean, you gotta go to a place where you, you're either gonna make the most money, yep, or you're gonna make. Uh, big as far as yep. uh, uh, creative and as far as uh, uh, being a top star, and you being comfortable there. Yeah, and you being comfortable there, of course. And, and, and you know, look at this right here. We, we already talked about it. You know, we mentioned the Freebird. How bigger stars were, were, were they, were they in, in, in the Texas area? Huge, huge. When they went to WWE, WWE at that time, what they did? Well, they they were attempting. But it's just, um, it just didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you gotta realize this too. I mean, you know, this is before the WWF was actually a, like a national yeah, company. Really. You know, this is just kind of the Northeast. Yeah. In like New York and, yeah. and Connecticut. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, where you know they were in the southern territory. Yeah. yeah. So. Here's the thing. Back back in that day, and it probably still stands today, in my opinion, that people people from the north just don't understand uh, 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 southern wrestling. They never could understand it. Vice and, versa. Yeah, and vice versa. You know, we, 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 there it's just the way it is. So you know the and after I think the Von Erickson and the, and, the, and the you know they all knew that. Why 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 go somewhere else when you, you don't know what what's in store for you? Here we know what we got. Exactly. So I'm standing right here. Let's go ahead and go with the next question asked by Michael Network. Well, Michael Network. Thoughts on the Yeti gimmick. Oh, God. What you think about the Yeti? It sucked. Tommy, who was the Yeti? Well, it was Reese. You Reese. know, 
part of the Ravens flock, you know. Big tall motherfucker. Yeah, big tall motherfucker with a mohawk. Yeah. You know. He comes in with toilet paper all over his all over him and it's the D G one. It's the D G toilet paper. Yeah, the D G T and Q partner was the D G <laughs> toilet D. paper. Yeah. It was the D G toilet paper wrapped around him. Here he comes. And the Giants got fucking Hogan in a bear hug. Then here comes the fucking Yeti stepping over the goddamn ropes. And he's hug hugging fucking the giant. And then he's got They're humping Hogan. Yeah, fucking gang banging Hogan. <laughs> and uh, that was the end of that goddamn shitty pay per view. And, uh, uh, what was that anyway? Was that Halloween uh, Havoc? It was Halloween Havoc. Was that 90? 95. Five, yes. And fucking. The Yete was a short stint. Then they made him the fucking Super Ninja. Yes, they did. Yeah, well, how, how much did that go over? <laughs> big, big, big fat fuck. <laughs> big fat tall fuck in the goddamn ninja suit. <laughs> How did that go over, Tommy? Not so good. <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> they should have stayed as a big fat ninja. <laughs> yeah, they should have named him Tall Fucking Ninja. <laughs> the Tall Fat Fucking Ninja. Yeah. And then and then he was Reese. Yeah, Reese part of Raven's flock. And that was de that was decent. He actually was a bodyguard role there. Yeah. So that was reasonable. But but him as the Yeti fucking sucked. And him as fucking the super ninja sucked. Pops. Well, let's just put it this right here. The only thing that Reese really, really done was, was a lackey for, for Raven. That's, that's the only thing. That's the only thing he was ever good for, anyway. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's why, that's why everything else failed. And that's why back to Raven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everything else failed. Uh, yeah. It, uh, of course, the Ete was just a um, for that one particular time. Yeah. Um, it was the Great Dungeon of Doom days. Yeah. Oh God. Oh yeah. Yeah, Great Dungeon of Doom, they were setting the world on fire in 95. The Dungeon of Doom, the best, the best fucking gimmick fucking uh, duo of all I'm time. You, 95 was on a roll. <laughs> Hell, WWF and WCW were head to head on the same shit shit. Shit shit? The shit shit. Um, that shitty ass shit. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Fucking the shits. And, and of course, you know, I mean, I mean, we can't just blame it all on Reese. Well, exactly. no, you gotta blame it on fucking WCW for giving him that well, you know, you, 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 WCW created him to do that. Yeah. Because you, let's just be honest, he's in that fucking thing, he can barely move it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's hey, we see this, we see this tall yeah. motherfucker with DG toilet paper on it. <laughs> and you're gonna go to the ring and fucking, and, and, and fucking do a stew hard on Hogan. Exactly. <laughs> What's the stew hard time? <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna make Hogan go. Ah! <laughs> That's you're, what you're, you're gonna do. Here's the thing: it was, it was, it was. Fucking, it was the shits. It was stupid writing. I'll say that it was stupid writing. And, yeah, so you can't really blame it all on Reese. Yeah, no, and, no, you can't blame it on him. You blame it, was, it on the goddamn people that's running WCW. And it was absolutely fucking stupid ass booking. They gonna take a fucking tall motherfucker and make him a fucking yente, make him a fucking mummy. I thought, uh, I thought, uh, I thought a Yeti was like a Sasquatch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought a goddamn Yeti was a fucking abominable snowman. Oh, no. Damn, you should have just said, right, you right should have <laughs> fucking yeah. said, here comes the mummy. Here comes the mummy. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just say that, goddamn it? Well, Tony Schiavone couldn't get it over there. Well, you gotta say, say Yeti! Because the mummy! The mummy! You know, that's no. like the ECW zombie. No, who, could, uh, who, who, couldn't, who couldn't get it over is the writers and promoters. That's who couldn't get it over. Let's go ahead and go with the next question asked by Jason. Jason Sensation. <laughs> Jason Sensation. Um, now, there was so much written here, but uh -huh. uh, I kind of just uh, put the points here. Yeah. What if Brett never left the WWF for WCW? Um, do you think he would have went to WCW eventually? Well, I'll be honest, he was going anyway. He was going anyway. He already planned it. Yeah. He already said he was going. If you guys ever watched uh, Hitman Wrestle with Shadows, you know, that's kind of that kind of Because Vince couldn't honor his 20 year fucking deal. And yep. that pissed Brett off. So he's like, you know what, I'll just take three million and fucking move some Turner money. Yep, uh, Vince had uh, Brett don't that's, sign. Don't that sound familiar? How people mooch? Yeah. Mooch off a company? Yeah, that sounds familiar, don't it? Huh, what company is that? Does it start with an oh, A? Oh, the, the three cancer letters. <laughs> Does it start with an A? Yeah, it starts okay. with an A and, and, and the middle one's F and the, <laughs> and the last one's W. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> anywhere to bury it. Nope. But uh, let's just be honest here. He was going anyway. He was going anyway. Uh, Brett, because one, he Vince was going to give him the twenty-year deal, but the goddamn WWF was tanking mm -hmm. at this time. Yeah, with money wise, yeah. And, and they weren't drawing the house shows, they, and everything else. Fucking so. Despite, despite, honestly, in my opinion, being the better product. Yeah, being the time. better show. Fucking ninety seven. The fucking WCW. Had. Yeah. Fucking run-ins by the NWO. Yeah, every run-ins by the NWO. Week, yeah. every fucking Nitro Thunder. That you got tired of seeing. You see one. You see them all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard, you know, I was like, God damn, is this the same show from last week? Previously, might as well be. Might as well say previously so, recorded. Previously recorded. So what the... Fuck it. And so fucking everyone knew that Brett was leaving. Yeah. And that's why Brett said, okay, then I'll just... And Vince told him to go ahead and sign with WCW. He already told him, go ahead. If you want to go get ahead... The best, get, you can. get the better deal you can. Get the better deal you can. So Vince did not... Vince didn't mind that. Well, you in the back of his mind, the reason why is because he knew WCW would fuck it up. Well, of course. He already did. told Brett Hart. He said to Brett but, yeah, before he, he, he signed, you, and you're he, making it. He, he, they won't know what to do with Brett Hart. Did, did tell him, WCW wouldn't know what to do. What are they going to do with, with you? They're not going to do nothing with Vince you. Vince already said WCW wouldn't know what to do with Brett Hart, and he was 100% yeah. right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say Vince McMahon was right on this right here. He was 100% right. right. He, said, he, 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 he said because Brett. And he told he said it himself, Brett Red is loaded with talent, but they won't know how to use it. And then And that's what they did. And then the Montreal screw job happened. Yeah. But here's another thing. Brett was leaving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do the do the right thing and drop the belt. You know you're fucking leaving. Yeah. Time on our tradition. Well it's dog. true though, he's fucking <laughs> leaving. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Sean's a fucking prick. Yeah. You know, and a fucking in a piece of shit. I wouldn't drop it either, but but I would've given it to someone else. Fuck. Hey, but, hey, hey, Vince, uh, uh, but, but here's the thing, fuck it, I would cause Sean said he wasn't gonna put Brett over. Yeah. So why the fuck, I wouldn't put the fucking, fucking ball-headed prick over either. But, but he, uh, I'm being but, honest. Dude, I, I agree. You I agree said you ain't gonna yeah. put me over. Yeah. So why the fuck should I put your fucking exactly. play girl ass over? <laughs> but, but Brett had this old, uh, Brett had this old thing that, that every old, every old, old wrestler had. I'm leaving. I might as well give the belt up. And that's what he did. He gave the belt up. Well, he didn't give the belt up. They made him give the belt up. Yeah, he, want, he, he wanted to come out on fucking Raw. And, but, uh, and he wasn't under contract. And he wasn't under contract. So that was the stupidest thing. You can't yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, you're already gone. And you're going to come out and say, well, uh, where you going? What the fuck was he going to say on the next day? Uh, 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 hey, uh, <laughs> hey, guys, uh, I'm leaving. So I'm gonna drop them out. I'm going. I'm going to WCW Nitro that they're not going to show me here in a couple of months. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll be on there. Well, it, it, and you're going. Do you tell you what they're going to show you uh, on this episode of Nitro? NWO with Maple Leaf flags. <laughs> well, well here, here, here's the case. It was, it, it, here's the case for by, by both Brett and and, and John Michael Smith. They, they 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 were both stubborn. Both jackasses at that right there time in their careers, and, and neither one of them wanted to put the other one over. There you go. And and it was it, it was just a big but feud. See, here's shit the like that. If you and knew course, that that match was going to cause problems, you shouldn't have booked. It. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but of course, you know he does go to WCW, and that was the worst fucking decision. The fu Brett look what made. his debut was. He comes in at fucking Starcade. No, sir. No, no, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, before he, got, he he referees one of the shittiest matches, Larry Sabisco and Eric Bischoff. Yeah. Here comes Brett in a fucking black shirt and black jeans and sneakers. Here he comes. And he's refereeing a blase fucking match that no one gave a fuck about. Everyone knew Bischoff was losing anyway. Yeah. yeah. That, that was well, a given right there. there. Yeah. And then he comes out and referees goddamn the match with Hogan and Sting. Where they fucking fucked up the goddamn finish, or fucking Hogan didn't want to J O B like always. That's that's fucking ball headed Hogan for you. But, but look that's what anyway. I'm sorry. I hate people that do that yeah. dumb shit. Just fucking do the job. Stop being a whiny puss and fucking bitch. It's not real but, anyway. But here's the problem. I'm oh, being fucking honest. Goddamn. The damn. that I have here. You right still here. get fucking paid. Shut right the here. fuck up. WCW has got the got one of the most talented technical wrestlers that ever walked into Brett the ring. Brett fucking Hart. Couldn't do nothing. And they couldn't do nothing. 
That is the they fucking got one of the best technical wrestlers. They're probably the biggest coup out of WWF. I'm sorry, all the rest weren't that big of a coup. Savage and Hogan were past the prime. My, yeah, my yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. I mean, they can still go. Well, well so in 94, yeah. they could still, still go, go, okay? But, but here's the goddamn thing. People got tired of seeing the Say Your Prayers and Eat Your Vitamins in 94. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's why I crowd booed Hogan. Now, as WCW went out of business, could Brett have went back to the WWF? Well, well, he he didn't want to. He was still butthurt. But to still put fucking things up it he is. Was still, he was still hurt. He, he went into the fucking Hall of Fame. Well, we should mention in 2002 he didn't have a stroke. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. So, so what? Yeah. Here's he nothing. Did, uh, did and he's too. probably still pissed off at the WWF yeah. for what he did, what they did to him in 97. Yeah. But here's got, and then he had a stroke. So what the fuck could he have done anyway? Mm -hmm. so there we go. What could he have done? And, and let's just be honest, his 2010 run that he had in WWE. Oh, God. His 2010 run? <laughs> him wearing the Batman shirt yeah. and the fucking black shorts. Yeah. And the sneakers. But let, let, let's put this right here. We, that, that that's was probably the, the Bret Hart. That's that probably the worst knew. portrayal of Bret Hart I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I thought WCW was bad. <laughs> nah, Bret Hart in 2010 is right up there. Yeah. I agree. Uh, so yeah, uh, but then he, he what, went in the Hall of Fame, which rightfully it. deserved, actually. Well, yeah, I, 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 deserved I, I, to be in the Hall of Fame. I, I, I'm gonna but knock then that. he, he didn't want to show up at WrestleMania. Why the fuck would you do everything half ass? Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> he did it half ass! He should have got half the pay. Should have got half the pay. I'll give you, I'll give you <laughs> half. Right. Why are you only giving me half? You did, you did step in the whole WrestleMania weekend, Brett. Hey, I did your Hall of Fame. Is that good enough? Twenty-five thousand. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand. I, I, I think you're overestimating how much they get paid in their uh, I don't give a damn. It's just, it's just. I'm just saying he should have got paid half. Oh, now look at it, dude. <laughs> you know, you know, like, like the old timers say. Well, I went in there for don't let them have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with the last question for this edition of Five Questions, asked by. Donnie Langston. Donnie Langston. This question is a... We're going to do this politically here. Okay. It is, this is the no, this, this is the snowflake generation. It is the snowflake generation. You remember the... Uh, they you, get butthurt about remember everything. remember the, uh, the Limp Biscuit theme, My Generation? Yeah. Now this is the snowflake generation. Yeah. I uh, do. Where I, people get offended and take everything literally. So, I this generation is to remember the snowflakes. Here's yes. my opinion. 2020. It's the most bitchy, the, the, the most bunch of goddamn bitchy people and little whores and motherfucking little, little, little fucking pricks that get butthurt about any goddamn thing you say. Well, you know what so, I say about that? I say, fuck you. So we're going to do a smash, pass, pass or marry. Yeah. All right. And you guys probably figure out what, yeah. what this is here. We have, yeah, uh, you little butthurt little motherfucker. Three options. We have Carmella. Uh-huh. Tegan Knox, uh -huh. Tegan Knox, Tegan Knox, whatever her fucking name is, and Dakota Kai. Okay. Now we so should smash pass or marry. Yeah. Now we should mention here that uh, we do know that Carmella's with the. Uh, uh, well, can I go ahead? Nothing and... happening, Corey. Yeah, so you already know I'm passing on that. <laughs> Anything Racktail had. Uh, what do you say, Tegan? Yeah. Tegan, 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 Tegan not to I'm, her fucking I'm going to go is. ahead and say She that. apparently is like a lesbian or like yeah. some type of bisexual. Well, I got no problem with that. No, no you know, is what it I'm is. I'm going to go ahead and so. say... Uh, All right, Tommy, which one's it going to be? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say pass uh, Carmella Graves. <laughs> Carmella Graves pass, okay. Yep. And so I only got... Was it Tegan Knox? Tegan Knox and Dakota Kai, so I got uh, Smash and Mary now. Yeah. Uh, I'd smash Tegan Knox. If she has a good uh, a good significant other, I'll give that a whirl too. But if she don't, word. she can sit on the sideboard. <laughs> sit on the sideboard. Uh, yeah. And I'll she marry, is pretty though. Yeah, I, I will she say is, that. And I'll marry Dakota Kai. Marry Dakota Kai. Why is that? Because she's hot. She's hot. Well, they're all, well, well, Tegan Knox and Dakota Kai is hot, but Carmella Graves, and Car Carmella Graves can fucking go where she is. Pops. Uh, let's see. Uh, you got Smash, Pass, or Mary, Carmella, Tegan Knox, and uh, Dakota Kai. 
uh, Smash Tiga Knox, uh, have a whirl with uh, Carmella, which she could, she could probably get more interest be in Car in, in Graves anyway, uh, and marry Dakota Kai. Yeah, because uh, because she is, I, I think she's pretty. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Matt Ramsey. <laughs> what? What? With my ramming it a few times. Ramming it. <laughs> Randy the Ram. I'd be, I, I, I'd be like Randy the Ram. Yeah, I'd be Randy the Ram. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, Jake, you want to play Nintendo? Hey, Dakota, <laughs> want to play Nintendo? Um, For me, I'm going to go with pass on Dakota Kai. Uh -huh. I don't know, she's just not my style. Um, Tegan Knox, I'll give her a whirl. Um, I think she's really pretty and stuff. And if she if she is lesbian or whatever, she can always bring her friends. And <laughs> like Tommy says, if she doesn't look good, she can put them on the sideboard. That's right. <laughs> and I guess I'll marry Carmella. I think Carmella's all right looking, but uh, a her voice is annoying. I will say that. That's why I uh, can't. <laughs> That's the reason why you can't. Well, yeah, that is, is, is with tattoo freak. Well, for <laughs> all purposes, and I don't want to go to see through, there's always a way to keep keep the mouth shut. Yeah, there is. And uh, I think she looks all right and stuff, so. And, I can't and, have anything that Corey touches. Well, well, I can't I will have say anything that Corey touches. <laughs> but I will say this. Uh, if she could support <laughs> fucking Corey, nothing happened to Grace, then she could support my ass. That's uh -huh. all I'm saying. Oh, you think so, you, you, you? So I'll marry her. You think, you think that's, that's what she's doing, supporting him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He ain't nothing. Anyway, guys. He never was. <laughs> Dude, there you go, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> thumb, baby. As well, give us that thumbs up on Facebook, facebookcom slash Two. Show that uh, too. You can add the old man on Facebook. He's always. You can add the old man on Facebook. The, you can talk to the old man about 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 the Prairie Farms Orange Drink, or you can talk about about the hugs, or the hugs, or, or, uh, or, or the it, evil uh, the evil orange man in the White House. Yeah. Or, uh, ain't been nothing but chaos ever since that motherfucker walked through that door. And guys, you can also follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage as well. Guys, you can. Follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And you can like us on Facebook, too. Well, well, well that's what I say. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook. Oh, like yeah. Us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. And, guys. Fucking thumbs up. And I will say this, guys. I've been looking at the analytics. And, guys, most people that are watching this channel right now are not subscribed. Yeah, so what please, are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Now, what? if you're a fucking AFW, Mark, you can fucking go. <laughs> Look, if you wanna if, if you wanna watch this, Pete, describe to our channel. AFW's that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's that way. What that way? Yeah, what the AFW's hell? AFW's that way. That's my TV. What are you talking about? over there. It's over there. Go. Guys, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. Uh, because we are that cream that rises to the top. The cream of the crowd. And nobody does it better. <laughs>